Hey everyone, my name is John, and today we're going to be going over my favorite camera bag, the Atlas Adventure Pack. So this is the Atlas Adventure Pack. I got this about a year ago and I've been putting it to the test in the field ever since and uh, my overall thoughts are I absolutely love it. It suits my needs really well. I do a lot of adventure filmmaking so it requires me to carry a lot of gear in the field. There was a lot of attention to detail when they were designing this bag. I know that my camera gear is protected and that allows me to go out and do my job uh, the best I can. So with that in mind, let's dive into some of the key features. The Adventure Pack weighs just under 7 pounds and stands 25 inches tall with the frame in. From top to bottom, the outer shell is made from a water repellent ripstop material. The exterior pockets have heavy duty zipper pulls that make it easy to open with one hand. Also, the bag comes with durable buckles to hold down the top cover. The left side of the pack has a side handle that is rated for over 900 pounds of force which makes it easy to pick up the bag and move it without strapping it on your back. The outer pockets are made of a flexible nylon material, making a perfect spot for stashing water bottles and other small items. At the very top of the bag, there are two rows of webbing where you can attach carabiners and other clip-on accessories. For bad weather, there's a built-in rain cover located at the bottom of the pack. To secure it, you simply unzip the pocket, remove the cover, and pull it over the outside of the bag. The backside features an air vented mesh panel for better airflow, which keeps your back dry on hot days. It also features overbuilt shoulder and waist straps that are completely removable, giving your bag a smaller profile when traveling. Another awesome feature is the quick draw hip pockets that can pull out for fast gear drops. And as a bonus, there is even a safety whistle located on the chest strap. One of my favorite features about the Adventure Pack is the origami core. The origami core allows you to customize the inside of the bag by simply pushing it in or pulling it out based on what your needs are for that day. This feature is great for people who shoot outside a lot and are in situations that vary day by day. Um, you know, every time I go out and shoot, I pretty much set up this bag differently than the last time I had it. The Adventure Pack has pockets everywhere. Every time I go out to shoot, I'm finding a new pocket to put things. It's absolutely insane. I've heard some people say that's actually a bad thing because sometimes they forget where they put stuff within their bag. Uh, but for me, that's excellent because it allows me to store things exactly where I want them to be. On that note, there's even a hidden passport pocket located underneath the top cover to keep your travel documents safe and secure. For those of you who edit or send emails on the road, there is even a padded laptop sleeve that can hold a computer up to 15 inches. And for other gear that isn't camera related, there is a large compartment at the very top of the bag that can be accessed through the drawstring opening. This part of the bag is great for holding things like extra clothing and even camping gear. At the front of the bag there are a ton of pockets for holding things like pens, hard drives and notepads, and there is even an ID card for personal information. And last but not least, there is a hidden key tether so that you don't end up walking home. I've used a lot of different camera bags over the years and the Atlas Adventure Pack just really gets the job done for me. This bag is absolutely huge. Uh, for me that isn't an issue and that's actually why I purchased this bag. I do much more filmmaking than I do photography, so I carry a lot more gear than a photographer would. I have audio equipment, I have monitors. This bag is perfect because it allows me to carry everything I need camera related, but also gives me storage up top for other things that are non-camera related that will help me get through the day. Even though it's a larger bag, um, it certainly does not feel bulky. It has a sleek design, everything on it has a purpose, and I don't feel like I'm carrying around any extra weight that I shouldn't be. With the size in mind comes airline restrictions. If you plan on taking this bag as a carry-on, you need to do a bit of customization. There is a metal frame in this bag that puts it over the size restriction for most airlines. Atlas Packs thought of this ahead of time and they allow you to take out the frame and simply cinch the bag down and that'll put it below the limit. Um, I've personally tested this on flights from Canada to the US. Without the frame and with the bag cinched down, I have had no issues with getting it on as a carry-on. 
This is my favorite camera bag. It's durable, it's held up very well with everything that I've thrown at it in the backcountry. And one of the biggest things for me is that I find it extremely comfortable. If I'm carrying around 30 to 40 pounds of camera gear, I wanna make sure that I'm gonna be comfortable throughout the day so that it doesn't distract me from doing my job. Now, camera bag comfort is definitely a personal preference. What works for me may not work for you, so just keep that in mind. As an action sports filmmaker, um, I definitely am not afraid to rough my gear up a bit. I haven't handled it delicately, and it's still in great condition. Um, the only thing that really happens to it is it gets dirty, and I think that's a good thing because it shows you're out there having fun. For beginner and entry-level filmmakers, the price point of this bag might be a bit high. For myself, I haven't regretted the purchase at all, but if you're a bit hesitant to pull the trigger on this bag, um, what I would recommend is first do a lot of research, watch videos, reach out to the company themselves if with any questions that you have. Um, but more importantly, try to find somebody in your community that already owns an Atlas pack and ask if you can borrow it for a day and go out in the woods and really put it to the test yourself. So thanks for checking out this video. I hope there was some valuable information in it for you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to message me directly or comment on the video. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. We'll see you guys next time.